The topic of today's video is a series circuit. Now as you can see we have a circuit on the right hand side with a 12 volt voltage source, a 1 ohm resistor, a 2 ohm resistor and a 3 ohm resistor. Now what is a series circuit? Well a series circuit is a circuit where all the components of the circuit are connected one after the other. So looking at this diagram we have a 12 volt battery then a 1 ohm resistor, then a 2 ohm resistor and a 3 ohm resistor and they're all connected in series with each other. So this means that the same current will flow through each of the components. Now to fully understand a series circuit we need to find certain, certain values. So the first value that we need to know is uh, what is the total voltage of the circuit. The second value is what is the equivalent resistance of the circuit. The third value is what is the total current through the circuit. The fourth value is what is the current through each resistor. And the fifth value is what is the voltage drop across each resistor. Okay, so uh, let's get started then. Well, the total voltage through the circuit is quite simple. I mean, that's just the 12 volt voltage source. So this is the total voltage that's in the circuit. So I think it'll be a good idea just to write that down. Yep, so VT is equal to 12 volts. Right, so the next value that we need to find is the equivalent resistance. Now the equivalent resistance, RT, is equal to R1 plus R2 plus R3. So for our values of resistors, we have RT equals 1 plus 2 plus 3. Therefore, RT equals 6 ohms. Okay, so I've made a note of the total resistance, which is uh, the 6 ohms. So now we need to find the next value, which is the total current. Now to find the total current here we need to use Ohm's law. So just to remind ourselves we can say that V equals I times R. Now we have the 12 volts and we have the total resistance. So we can say that VT equals I and I'll make that IT for the total current times RT. Now multiply, uh, doing some algebraic manipulation on that we get IT for the total current equals VT divided by RT. Now we know the value of VT and we know the value of RT so we can actually put those in so that equals 12 divided by 6 so that is going to give us 2 amps. So IT is going to equal 2 amps. Okay, so the next value that we need to, uh, we need to look for is the current through each resistor. Now, I said at the beginning that the, the, same, the, current, the same current flows through each component of the, uh, of the series circuit. So, the current, the total current, to amps will flow through every component in our circuit. So for number four there is a rule that says that IT equals I1 which equals I2 which equals I3. So the same current passes through every component. Okay, so the next value that we need to determine is the voltage drop across each resistor. Now the rule for this is VT, so VT is the 12 volts, is going to equal V1 plus V2 plus V3. And these three voltages are the voltage drops across R1, R2 and R3. So this rule is known as Kirchhoff's voltage law where all the voltages 
dropped across the resistors add up to the voltage um, at the source. Okay so to find the voltage drop across each resistor we need to use the values that we've found up here so we need to use the uh, the current the total current and we also need to use the value of each resistor in turn so we'll first look at um, all at all one so we'll call that v1 and we'll say that v1 equals i t but we'll make it i1 as we're relating everything to num uh, resistor number one times R1 and this equals 2 times the 1 amp which equals 2 so we can say that there are 2 volts dropped across, across R1 so let's look at number 2 so we'll say V2 equals I2 times R2 and the value of R2 is 2 so that equals 2 times 2 and that equals 4 volts so there are 4 volts dropped across R2 then if we look at R3 we can say that V3 equals I3 times R3 which equals oops, sorry, 2 times 3 which equals 6 volts. So if we refer back to our Kirchhoff's voltage rule all the voltage drops across the resistors if we sum them up this should equal the the voltage um, at the source. So we have 6 volts plus 4 equals 10 plus 2 equals 12 so that is correct. Just a note looking at I1, I2 and I3 remember that I1, I2 and I3 are the um, the current flowing in the series circuit which is 2 amps in every one because the current is constant in a series circuit okay so I think that's about it so let's just have a recap on what we've done first of all we found the total voltage of the circuit which was 12 volts due to the fact that there's only one battery in our circuit so this, uh, this gave us 12 volts. We then went on to find the total resistance or the equivalent resistance. Now the equivalent resistance turned out to be 6 ohms. This is due to the fact that in a series circuit you just add all the resistances together. So R1 plus R2 plus R3 in this case was 1, am 1 ohm plus 2 ohms plus 3 ohms which turned out to be 6 ohms. Now if I added another value to that that resistance value would go up so that is a characteristic of a, uh, a series circuit that if you add resistance to the circuit the, the total value of the resistance goes up we then went on to find the total current through the circuit now we had to use the total resistance and the total voltage to give us the total current again using Ohm's law this turned out to be 2 amps so the fourth value that we needed to find was the current that flows through each component, each resistor in the circuit. So the current that's uh, given, off by, given out by the battery has to flow through R1, through R2 and through R3, R3 and then back. So the current that flows is 2 amps, so the, the total current, current flowing through each resistor is 2 amps. We then uh, used Kirchhoff's law and Ohm's law to find the voltage drop across each resistor. This turned out to be, for R1 it was 2 times 1 which is I times R1, so for, for the current it was 2 amps and R1 equals 1 ohm, so I1 and R1 2 times 1 gives you 2 volts. For V2 it was I2 times R2 again I2 equals 2 amps times R2 which is 2 ohms so that gave us 4 volts and V3 is I3 times R3 which is 2 times 3 which equals 6 volts now just looking at Kirchhoff's law again if we add all the voltages together 
that should equal VT. So we added those together, 6, 4, 6 and 4 is 10, add 2 is 12, and that gave us the 12 volts.